So just when you thought everything with this royal family couldn't get as messy as it is. And then it just gets even more messier. Thomas Markle is back. And we don't need this. We don't need this right now. Hey guys, it's Marab Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And let's get straight into this. So, Meghan Markle's dad has come out with an interview via Good Morning Britain, ITV1. And he thinks that him and King Charles are one and the same. Thomas Markle compared himself to the British monarch in a new interview, noting that they are both battling health issues, whilst estranged from the Duchess of Sussex and her husband, Prince Harry. I would love to speak to him because I am sure he has many unanswered questions as I do, the retired TV lighting director told the Daily Mail um, in regards to Charles. <sighs> the Lord have mercy. Neither of us deserve the treatment we've received. He is going through cancer treatment and I'm not in the best of health. I have so many questions I'd like to ask Meghan and Harry. The main one being why have they treated not only me but the royal family and the king so badly. They have two grandpas who want to see them, one of whom is in the King of England. I never in my 80 years thought I'd be the same boat as the King. I mean, you're not. Thomas explained that Archie and Elizabeth are getting to the age where they will start asking questions. So he feels it is only a matter of time until, the, until they realize all the things they have missed out on. I wish we could have worked the situation out. I was always ready and willing to do that, he claims, despite publicly bashing the Sussexes over the years continuously and relentlessly. Since relocating to her native California, Meghan and Harry have remained close with her mother, Doria, but stayed clear of seeking or talking to her father, who has never met his royal son in law. The couple has also limited contact with them. So, of course, the Daily Mail funneling this fraudulent interview as, a, as an exclusive, first and foremost, you have to pay to read that interview, which is pathetic within itself, you know, creating an interview with him, initially also Good Morning and ITV1 he did an interview with, and also now with the Daily Mail. This recent interview is, sorry, I wanted to clarify, discussing, you know, empty questions that have clear answers. And a lot of people do this. I don't know why they do this. It's like they're either intentionally dumb, vapid narcissists, or know and are looking for the reaction. It's probably all of the three. You want to know why what I've done. You want to know why you're treating me badly and the royal family badly. When you know the answers that the royal family and you, Thomas, have been bashing Meghan. Like, you know the answer to these questions. So why are you acting like a damsel in distress? And a lot of weird, abusive people do this. And it's so deep and dark in abusive relationships when the abuser is acting like an innocent individual, acting like suddenly, you know, I haven't done anything wrong. Why me? Why are you doing this to me? When, you know, your actions are right there to see that are plainly and directly harmful and abusive. Meghan and Harry going stone cold and not even responding to Thomas is exactly how you should respond to a narcissist. You should completely just go stone cold. It drives them up the wall. They go crazy because they act in a specific way because they need a reaction and they use your reaction as ammunition to fill up the desire tank for them to continue to do it again. To go stone cold, you eliminate their flying monkeys, which is a psychological term, which is the people that they use to you know, do their bidding work and you eliminate you know, their power. They can't do anything about it. It frustrates them, which is why Thomas keeps coming back. He's a very abusive father to Megan, and Megan's made that decision. That is what needs to be respected. Who are we to put ourselves in and dictate what a father and a daughter should do together when we are not in that relationship? It is insane what also social media has done and has given so many people the right to think that they can, the illusion of a right to think they can say and do X, Y, Z. The fact that this man came out with this fraudulent interview today out of nowhere is ridiculous. Seems pre-planned to me. And of course, the royal family are absolutely loving it. Much like how they're using Prince William's appearance with Taylor Swift against Meghan. Taylor's rejected Meghan in capitals. In, in what way has Taylor rejected Meghan and Harry because they're doing something with William? The royal family, the PR, the UK press, William, Charles, they're all included in this team versus team nonsense. And they have began and leaked so much of this stuff. And you know, guys, a lot of people don't know that. When I speak about Harry and Meghan, some people who say they don't like them or like, you know, well, Harry wrote this book. They went to do a television documentary. They went to do an interview with Oprah. They're doing all this stuff to bash their family. A lot of people say this. And it's interesting to me. Um, but they don't look at the root of the issue. It's like they don't want to. People have become lazy and they just, you know, 
ignore. And it's so dangerous because when you do that, you are rewriting history. And you have no right to rewrite history. To write, you are entitled to your... Listen, one thing I want to say to people is that you are entitled to your opinions. Everybody is an, is entitled to their opinion, whether it's right, wrong, insane, or right. Everybody is entitled to an opinion. But, beloved, you are not entitled to your facts. You are entitled to an opinion. You are not entitled to facts. You have no... How dare you, with the audacity to think that you can rewrite history to favor you, rewrite the factual information and turn them into lies to favor you. It's such a dangerous, abusive relationship. So when people sit there and say, oh, you know, in this, in this specific example, I'm tailoring it now here for him to say, what did I do? Or what did the royal family do for you to treat us this way? You are trying to rewrite history and eliminate your abusive behavior. How dare you do that? This man is a embarrassment as a father ridiculous what he's doing and you know he as punishment for his actions and how abusive has been to his daughter he's not going to see his grandchildren ah oh, just when he thought the royal family wasn't messy enough the whole kate saga then they want to drag megan in, uh, megan into it camilla the rat is also doing something for you know always messy behind the scenes with their hands king charles is just being you know ignorant and you know very stubborn in his way then you got prince andrew acts like an idiot out of nowhere him beefing again there's always something with andrew suddenly he comes back if it's not the epstein files or whatever and now as the icing on the freaking cake not even the icing guys the cherry on the freaking cake is that thomas markle is back like i just feel like we can't get a break with this family it is insane it is a full-time job it is a full-time job. Subscribe, comment down below. Shout out to the members who've joined. I appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you click that button and subscribe. It's just one click. It's my third video in the past hour and a half, putting a lot of content for you guys to make up for the past 48 hours where I was abroad, very busy, and just wasn't able to do consistent content as I normally do for all of you guys. Of course, you know, my job is to keep you guys not only entertained, but, you know, or educated, but just in the know of what is going on, especially with these specific topics. Subscribe, just one click, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow night. Like, you know, I wake up and there's more royal news going on. Like, <sighs> this, I don't know, it just never ends, and I don't think it's gonna end. But what we can see is that, you know, this family is, it's going down the hill, guys. Like, it's going down the hill. Look how much it's changed from when Elizabeth was around five, six to 10 years ago. From 10 years ago to now, look at how this family has changed. Elizabeth was reigning the rule. You had the beautiful weddings of Harry and Meghan, the beautiful weddings of William and Kate. Everybody was speaking about it, trending. Every, like, it was everywhere back then. But now, crickets. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.